Hello, ELA Masters, and welcome to your very last day of work in Vista Virtual Online Learning. I am so proud of all your hard work, not just when we've been online for the past few weeks, but all year in third grade. Before we move on to our end of the year test, some announcements. Scholars, again, our test today will be on Illuminate, and we'll go back and review how we finish an Illuminate test. We also want to make sure that we log on to Lexia still for 30 minutes today, if you haven't, and 30 minutes on Thursday and Friday, so that you can earn 15 out of 15 for your last grade of the year on Friday, if you have 150 minutes. Finally, friends, we don't have office hours, so during our quiz, if you have a question, make sure you use the private comment work. Finally, we will be having our end of the year celebrations on Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. on Zoom. You'll find those links on the Google Classroom on Friday, so make sure that you don't miss it. We might get to fold some origami paper cranes and have a dance party, so make sure you're there. Friends, let's go over some questions from yesterday. Yesterday, I asked you, which point of view is used in the passage? We know by now, friends, that there can either be first person point of view, the narrator is in the story, or third person point of view. The narrator is someone from the outside and is not telling the story. We know that this was third person point of view because the narrator wasn't saying I or we, they weren't a character. It was someone from the outside who was describing Sadako Sasaki's life, leading to her early passing from leukemia. So again, the story was not told by Sadako or her mom. It was told by an outside narrator. If you got that, give me a high five. Good, friends. Scholars, I also ask you which sentences from the passage give an example of how Sadako never gave up hope, even in the end. Many of you correctly chose C and D. Quickly, Sadako tried with all of her strength to fold the paper, and life was slipping away from her, but the crane made her feel stronger inside. Both of these sentences give the best evidence that, that Sadako never gave up hope. She was strong. In today's quiz, we might be asked a question like this. So make sure you ask yourself, does this prove how Sadako never gave up hope? Does this prove that Sadako ne never gave up hope? Make sure that you're always asking yourself, does this prove my inference? Friends, I also ask you to reflect on what we've read throughout this unit and your experience in third grade. Like I said, we learned about World War II and its consequences, like the internment camps or the Holocaust or the atomic bomb. And we learned about that through both nonfiction and historical fiction texts. Why do you think that in Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, the author talked a lot about peace? And what did you as a reader learn? Jacqueline shared that as a reader, she learned that people didn't practice peace during World War II. In fact, war is like the opposite of peace because you're fighting, right? And as a result, Jacqueline realized that a lot of people died during World War II. So peace is really important so that innocent lives like Sadako don't have to be lost. Owen shared that he learned in the Sadako text that peace is to be nice with each other and not to fight. And he shared that quote that is in real life, as we know, at Sadako's memorial in Hiroshima Peace Park. This is our cry. This is our prayer. Peace in the world. Even in 2020, scholars, that's something that we still hope for our world. And I'm so impressed that many of you shared those same thoughts. Brent shared that peace isn't just about being calm and quiet like many of us probably thought, but sometimes peace can be showing strength and showing hope. And I love how he mentioned that Sadako always had that strength and hope. 
Finally, Joseph Gomez shared that the theme of the story is that despite hardships and tragedies and sad things that happen, there's always good. There's always a silver lining. Like at the end, when Sadako was comforted and thinking about how her family and friends supported her. I know that during this time when we've been away from school, I've really relied on my friends and family too to help support me. So I really resonate with that response, Joseph. Scholars, I also wanted to know what you thought about the book. And Charles shared that what surprised him was that Sadako died because he thought that she would survive. Scholars, I actually thought the same thing too. Um, and I definitely agree, Charles. I like that she kept making paper cranes. Make sure that you go to your campus's end of the year celebration on Friday. Maybe you can make some paper cranes to show your teachers. Charlie said that he liked everything because she was a tough girl and he wants to be the same as Sadako because she is so strong. Even though the leukemia made her body weak, her heart and her mind was very strong. I resonate with that, Charlie. Elena shared that what she liked about this book is that Sadako always gave her best shot and that she might have felt devastated, but at the same time felt happy because they had a statue of all the people that died from leukemia. I'm so curious about what would have happened to Sadako if she survived. That's a great thought, Elena. And I know another scholar, I believe Joseph, was wondering about if children have leukemia today. The answer is yes, friends. This is still a sickness that's very much a part of our life, even in 2020. But as we read in leukemia, today, we now have medicines like chemotherapy that help little children like Sadako have a better chance at fighting. Thank you for that thought, Elena. And Dwayne shared that he was surprised that Sadako made 1,300 paper cranes and actually did like to run in real life. And that was a fact. I agree, Dwayne. I think it's really cool that she actually achieved and surpassed her goal. And finally, friends, many of us had this question about what the bell in Sadako's memorial was shaped like. And many of us got this bonus question. By the way, how cool is it that these are all thousands and thousands of origami paper cranes? If you go to the Children's Peace Memorial at Hiroshima Peace Park in Japan, these cranes that were made from all over the world and sent to Japan are on display there. There's Sadako on the top with her golden crane, some cranes at the bottom, and... <gasps> Friends, what is, oops, silly miss, yeah, but. Friends, what is Sadako's bell shaped like? Tell me. Yes, it's shaped like a golden crane. Pretty cool. Finally, scholars, I wanted to know what you were most proud of while working on reading in Vista Virtual Learning. Angel A said that he's proud of the work he's done, and so many of you shared the same thing. I know, friends, that me, Miss Ali, and Miss Rodriguez have been very impressed in all of your hard work, and I know that I appreciate how much you've been using this virtual learning, the videos and the forms to help prepare our brains for fourth grade. Michael shared how he's proud of how he did the best he could. I know this was a weird way to end the year, working online and not getting to see all of you wonderful friends every day. But I love, Michael, how you shared your self-determination really helped you continue to learn. I agree. And finally, Jacqueline shared that she's proud of her getting better at reading while working in this virtual learning. Scholars, you're all going to be fourth graders. I couldn't agree more, Jacqueline. It was so important that we continue to grow our brains and practice our reading, and you all did such a great job. 
Scholars, we know that the year doesn't have to end here and that we want to make sure that we continue to reflect on our reading and reflect on our year. I want to know, what are you most excited for, about for the summer? And what are you most excited or curious about for fourth grade? Feel free to leave a comment in this assignment. And finally, friends, you will be finishing your end, oops, you will be finishing your end of the year test on Illuminate. Remember that in order to do that, you have to click on this link here that says sign in. Oh, that's not working. Click on this link that says sign in, which will bring you this page. Make sure you click on where it says your name, and then that will bring you to the Illuminate page, the same one that we've been using to log into all of our tests. If you don't remember your last information, remember that is under classwork and student login info. You can also click this link here to go to that page. Ely Masters, do not forget this. When you are done with your quiz, don't forget to click mark as done when you are finished. And of course, if you have a question, type it in the private comments. Third graders, I am so proud and so impressed of all of your hard work. And I'll see you in fourth grade. Have a great day, scholars, and a great summer.